What up, DC gang? It's your boy Dre. Yeah, okay. Back with some more yeah. of this hood nature, some more of these facts, some more of this good learning. It's interesting too. Buddy is funny as hell. He was talking about people getting sick in the afterlife. Clap. He make it funny and his facial expression just. It's serious. It's just serious. Yeah. But DC gang, do us a favor, smash the like on this video right now before you even start. Smash this like. But make sure you drop in the comments, hit the subscribe button, come to post notifications. You ready to check it out? Let's check it out. Let's go, y'all. This is probably the most terrifying thing you'll ever see in the ocean. Right. What is that? That thing is actually a big fin squid and it's believed to grow up to 26 feet long. Scientists believe they hunt by dragging those freakish arms across the ocean floor, snatching up anything unlucky enough to accidentally brush up against it. But by far the scariest thing about this hell squid, we know almost nothing about it. We don't know how they we meet, how they live, all we... We don't know nothing about it. Right. They we, do. They might know. I've seen somebody else before, like I said in the comments, one of the comments too, say about it. It's like the same thing you said before. Mm -hmm. There's so much stuff out there in that ocean that we, that we don't know, but we know about the basic little things that they show us. Yeah. The things out there, crazy, man. That thing looks like a. I don't know. For sure, is that you can find them at the very bottom of the ocean at depths of up to 15,000 feet, which is more than half the height of Mount Everest. But here's the part that personally freaks me out. Every big fin ever caught was a juvenile, and since no adults have ever been captured, it's possible they can be even bigger than we thought. Damn. This sea slender man's arms are covered in tiny suckers, meaning once it grabs something, there aren't a lot of things strong enough to break free. Those arms can be over 90% of their total body length, and they hold it at a 90 degree angle, which makes this violation against nature look like it's T-posing. As technology improves, we might have a chance to learn more about them. Okay. Which isn't a good thing, they need to stay in hell. facts, but they slowly get more and more disturbing. Blue whales can produce 400 gallons of baby batter, but only 10% of it makes it to the female, meaning 360 gallons get dumped back out. In case you're wondering, that's eight and a half bathtubs of whale maker. Gray whales will go three player with two males and a female. While the first male is getting his rocks off, the second wing whale will swim underneath the female and help hold her in place for a process that can last up to an hour. And from the reminder, almost every sea monster story ever told was really about a whale's penis, and I will never let y'all forget it. Sperm whales are so loud. Wait a minute. Oh. What was that? Wait, let me go a back. whale's penis. Almost every sea monster story ever told was really about a whale's penis, and I will never let y'all forget it. Sperm whales are so loud that their sound can vibrate you to death by either causing your lungs to collapse or an air bubble to form in your brain, which would instantly take you off the senses. Blue whales are big, but not allowed for your lungs to collapse. And I will never let y'all forget it. Sperm whales are so loud that their sound can vibrate you to death by either causing your lungs to collapse or an air bubble to form in your brain, which would instantly take you off the senses. Blue whales are big, but not a lot of people understand how big. You can hear a blue whale's heartbeat from a little more than two miles away. They can oh, wow. swallow almost half a million calories at once. Allegedly, a whale's far bubble can enclose a full-grown horse. And because I am who I am, I have to tell you that the largest blue whale penis was about 16 feet long away, anywhere from 700 to 900 pounds. Blue whales don't spray water out of their blowholes the way you see in movies. It's actually warm air being forced out of the lungs. It's basically its breath. It's one of the most unholy smells that can ever assault your nose. Like burning rubber in a fish cemetery. Because of that video, there's now people that believe the ocean is salty because of whale sperm. And I'm not gonna lie, I wish it were true because of the look on people's faces when I tell them this is free therapy, but it isn't. Most of the ocean salt comes from rocks on land because when acidic rain hits the rocks, it erodes them and causes them to release salt. The salt gets carried out in streams and rivers where it eventually reaches the ocean. The reason the ocean is so salty is because this has been happening for millions on billions of years. Some of the salt also comes from hydrothermal vents at the bottom of the ocean, but most of the time when you taste seawater, the salt came from a rock, not a whale that already has. So yeah, you don't have to worry about salty seawater. Besides, you should probably be more concerned with the fact that your perfume used to be made from whale vomit. The more you know. Well, really? I didn't. Yo, our perfume is made from like, whale vomit. But they put all that stuff to make it smell good. So you yeah. really got whale vomit. Oh. Y'all rocking whale vomit. So it's the same thing as cologne too? Maybe. I don't know. Well, yeah, I like this. Me too. What you should be most afraid of isn't the shark. It's the stonefish because it can deliver venom powerful enough to cause crippling pain and toxic enough to activate your life insurance in less than two hours. This fish is armed with a venom called verucotoxin and as a neurotoxin, it shuts your body down from the inside. If you got stung, you would first feel incapacitating pain, swelling, and eventually numbness. But no worries, it gets worse. It always gets worse. If you don't get medical attention fast enough, the poison would destroy tissues in the body, cause uncontrollable twitching and shaking, and eventually paralysis, meaning it would get harder and harder to breathe until you eventually black out. Victims describe the pain as getting continuously hit with a sledgehammer all over the body, and even if you survive, you can still walk away with permanent nerve damage and muscle atrophy. But there's two big reasons why this Satan guppy might be the most dangerous fish on Earth. One is this picture. Because the stonefish looks like a stone, it's so easy to accidentally step on one, and when you do, those spines would get shoved up your foot, and the harder you step, the more poison gets pumped into you. And number two, they can survive outside of water for up to 24 hours, meaning they don't have to be underwater to put you underground. 
Because Australia is the only place where mistaking a fish for a stone can get you to death penalty. You should never pick this shell up because it's actually one of the most venomous things on the planet. That's because the cone snail can shoot you with a harpoon at 400 miles per hour. That would be like getting struck by 14 Usain Bolts because ironically this snail is one of the yeah. fastest animals on the planet, being right. able to hit you almost as fast as you can blink. What? That's not Damn. the only thing fast about them because this murder slug was nicknamed Cigarette Snail because according to urban legend, if you got hit by one, you had enough time for a puff puff pass before you puff puff pass away. Oh. If you got stung, you would immediately feel extreme pain, swelling, what? numbness, and vomiting. But don't worry, it gets worse. It would escalate to muscle paralysis, double vision, and difficulty breathing. And once you get to that point, you can go ahead and start printing out shirts because you finna be on them. <laughs> and even though the cigarette thing was an exaggeration, it could take only five to eight hours for them to connect you to God's Wi-Fi. Now the problem with these snails is that they use venom to paralyze unlucky prey and they'll even put them to sleep with a toxin that's a thousand times more powerful than morphine. What? Which works on fish and stupid people that pick them up. But they don't just use one though, like Tyson, they be on them combos. They can have 50 different toxins in their venom, which is why there is no antidote. The only cure is to try not to die and become a Snapchat member. Your child can visit steamy jungles, grassy plains, and the dark depths of the ocean. I should oh. probably explain what the hell this is. Right. That was an angel shark and that's the worst Call of Duty player you'll ever meet. The angel shark will lie motionless for days waiting for anything bite-sized to accidentally pass above its head so it can take its life. Sounds like a cheat code, but there's- He's literally lay motionless for days. So they can- something can accidentally- Just waiting on the prey to come through. So they can just go ahead and eat them. Oh, them snails, though. Them snails is dangerous. Them snails, and though. And that rockfish, too. Damn. List for days waiting for anything bite sized to accidentally pass above its head so it can take its life. <laughs> Sounds like a cheat code, but there's no referee in the ocean, so this camel shark stab pets kills like no other. Mm. But you don't have to worry about them snatching up your leg because they're only interested in fish, crustaceans, and mollusks like squid. Okay. That being said, angel sharks are a lot like electrical power sockets. They're only dangerous if you're stupid enough to poke them. Now, you would think that's common sense, but because these sharks stay perfectly still, scuba divers think it's a good idea to touch them, and that makes these sharks go from mannequin challenge to homicide. Luckily, <laughs> attacks are rare, and as long as you're not an idiot, this sea carpet won't fade you. Good thing, too. Cause there's a shark in this picture and he may not be an angel but he'll turn you into one. Reasons why this is your new favorite fish. Even though they can be up to 23 feet over 3,000 pounds, they're 100% perfectly harmless to people because they only ever eat plankton and small shrimp. Unlike stingrays, they're not venomous. This giant place and I couldn't hurt you if it wanted to. They're smart enough to understand mirrors because manta rays are seen waving and blowing bubbles at their own reflection. Something they wouldn't do if they thought it was another manta ray. Manta rays will launch themselves out of the ocean and they do it to get rid of parasites or to avoid predators. But sometimes it seems like they do it just for fun. They have the largest brain of any fish, making them arguably the smartest things in the ocean that they'll also belong on a list with Cosby that isn't a TV guide. Baby manta rays are called pups, and the mother will give birth to one or two pups every year. They're normally black, a dark brown, or a grayish blue, but there are pink oh, manta rays. I mean, hold on, y'all. How many do they have? Baby manta rays are called. Pups, mm -hmm. pups every year. They're normally black, a dark brown, or a gray blue, but there are pink manta rays out there, and no, this is not edited. This pink manta ray is found off the coast of Australia on the Great Barrier Reef, proving that that country is both a national treasure and Satan's jungle gym. They're smart enough to form strong emotional bonds with each other, and they're smart enough to ask for help. One repeatedly approached the diver until he realized that she had a fish hook stuck under her eye, and she waited patiently as he removed it. Once he removed it, she swam off. What would happen if you took one of the meanest animals in the ocean and gave it legs? Well, two things. One, you'd have one of the most violently aggressive animals on Earth walking on land. And two, I know this because it technically happened and they exist. It's a known fact that the biggest menace to society in the ocean are dolphins of any kind. They jump sharks for no reason, slap box their babies, and they have a rap sheet longer than Drake's. And the worst dolphin of all actively tortures other animals for sport. Dolphins and whales are part of a group called cetaceans, which basically happened because this guy decided he wanted to test his luck out in the ocean and evolved to become semi-aquatic and then fully aquatic. But funny story, there was a group of these land animals that actually stayed on land and about 54 million years ago they split up with the animals that would become whales and dolphins heading out to sea. The ones that didn't follow them out into the ocean stayed on land and after millions of years of plot development they went on to become one of the most vicious animals in the world. In case I haven't made it obvious, I'm talking about hippos. The African homicide horse is actually the closest living relative of whales and dolphins. One's a bipolar tank with royal rage and a devil's overbite and the other's a pufferfish abusing shark assaulting sea quagmire and that is f***ing evolution. Remember that dolphin sound effect from Spongebob that was supposed to be like a sensor? You know what the f*** I'm talking about. Yeah. Well that sound didn't actually come from a dolphin, it was actually the sped up laughter of the kookaburra. It's a kingfisher bird found in Australia that sounds like a guy trying way too hard to laugh at a cute girl's jokes. <laughs> You may not be able to hear it, but when you double the playback speed, you can hear the sound that cartoons made you swear was a dolphin. All right. Moral of this video, every dolphin sound effect you've ever heard on every TV show is really just an Australian crack tweet. That's crazy. That is crazy. I thought dolphins really do sound like that. Like, so they, like they, they don't make that noise. I think that's what he said. That's crazy. Right. That's what make me want to pull it up and have it listen and right, see. Right, and see. The dolphin sound. Mm -hmm. But that was why 
I drew the cat before I go in the ocean. Once again, learn some more stuff. I never knew something like that. Right. Was in the ocean. Or oh, like rockfish. I mean, we never know. Like, you yeah, never know. I think it's like millions things. of other things that we. Probably know. even more than that. Because they never discovered that so whole ocean. So deep you right. can go down there like that. Right. That's crazy. I know one thing. If I see any uh, snails on the, on the beach. I ain't playing with no more snails. I don't care if they don't want them. I ain't playing with them. Yeah, I ain't playing with them. Straight up. None of that me. caterpillars, none of that ain't clapping me, sending me to the afterlife. No <laughs> right. time soon. Right. None. Do us a favor, y'all. Smash a like on this video. Drop some comments down below how you feel about yes. this. And some things that y'all might know in the ocean that yeah, we don't know about. Some people might not know yet. Right. But I shout out to Hood Nature Man for those good, interesting facts. Mm -hmm. Man, that's Very. game all the time. And uh, we'll catch y'all the next one, y'all. I'll go by the name Drill. And I go by the name Cash. Once again, catch y'all the next one. Catch y'all next one.